Welcome to our lecture on illustrating archaeology from pencils to pixels. And this is the first part of the lecture. Why do archaeologists draw? Now, many of us don't really understand why we draw anymore. It seems a little bit antiquated now that we have photography and videography and photogrammetry. Why do archaeologists still take the time to sit down with a pen or a pencil and draw much of what we study. To this end, me and some of my colleagues, James Taylor, Holly Wright, and Helen Petrie from Com Computer Science, got the Aid Memoir project together. We were really interested in seeing why archaeologists continue to draw and what our drawing does within archaeology. So over the space of about two years, we had four experiments and a survey that focused on drawing in archaeology. It was based on literature and cognitive science and experimental methods in psychology and user interface design. And we looked at digital and by hand drawing in the field and by illustrating artifacts. We also looked at people with very little experience in drawing and people with a lot of experience in drawing, professional illustrators, professional archaeologists and such. And um, one interesting comment that came out of our survey was new staff members can't draw for toffee. And we heard this over and over again. Students do not know how to draw and they've stopped drawing as part of their regular um, process of learning. So we were investigating this. And we did one of our investigations at a place called Elizabeth Castle in Jersey. And here you see two student archaeologists, one with more experience than the other. One had performed some field work and the other had, this was her first excavation. And uh, our colleague Helen Petrie off to the side observing, so doing ethnographic observation to try to understand what was going on with drawing. And she looked at his posture and how he looked at the, the archaeology and how much he interacted with the archaeology as he was drawing to see how much he understood what he was drawing. This, by contrast, is another archaeologist who has some experience in archaeology and this archaeologist um, is doing digital drawing and spot the difference between the last two slides. The previous slide showed the archaeologist quite close to the trench interacting with the archaeology and this slide shows the archaeologist retreating to the shade probably because the digital recording screen was really hard to see but they would come away from the archaeology to finish off the drawing. So this was only one of many, many details that we observed while doing all of our experiments. We came up with what is called the cognitive model of drawing, and this is an archaeology thing. Don't be too scared by this um, model. It is in process. It's actually active research right now within the Aid Memoir project. Um, but it gives you an idea of how complex the way we draw is and what it does within our um, with our understanding of the archaeology. Here you see at the very bottom of the screen is kind of the external world. So that's our embodied encounter with archaeological remains. And so we feed up into, we select some elements, we have the initial observations, we organize those elements into a propositional representation, and then we feed these things into a mental model. We found drawing to be critical within archaeology to forming a mental model. And a mental model is how you understand the spatio-temporal relationships that happen outside of your head. And so you derive this model and then you go to what's called a perceptual model. And so you bring this mental model into something you can draw and then you externalize this model and that that becomes your archaeological drawing. And you see on the outside here we have collaborative interpretation. We have found that um, many times students, colleagues will go back and forth having discussions with each other. A lot of this is also based on prior experience and so this experience can guide you 
um, and what you need to understand how the archaeology works together. Look at the artifact in front of you and understand how that artifact was formed. And then finally, drawing standards. We'll go, be going into drawing standards in a different lecture, but these drawing standards can really shape the way that you express your drawing, express your archaeology, but it also helps you to be part of a regular system that allows archaeologists to talk to each other, to report to each other, and to understand each other's drawings. Now, as you see, this is another version of this model, and this is what happens when you do photogrammetry rather than um, drawing artifacts. You see that there's three boxes that are grayed out. Because you go, you have your embodied encounter with archaeological remains. You select the elements that you want to depict. You make your initial observations and then you perform your photogrammetric uh, model. So you immediately externalize that image and the image comes straight back out into the external world. So you make your observations and then you take the image immediately. You don't have time to actually form much of a mental model. And you still have your collaborative interpretation, your prior experience guiding you on how to make your photogrammetric model and there are digital standards that guide you to make these models. But it's a very different process, and it's one that we still remain very interested in. So the Aid Memoir Project found that even if archaeologists were beginning to move towards digital recording, other sciences like physics and maths, especially the geosciences, they were starting to draw more and more often, and finding that their students had much, much better results from drawing. We found that archaeologists should keep not only keep drawing, but they should draw more. We should draw uh, during our excavations, during our artifact recording, sure, but consider sketching along as you learn new concepts in archaeology. Because when archaeologists draw context or artifacts by hand, they are more consistently able to form the mental models that help them understand archaeological remains. We even found that if you just trace a photograph of archaeological remains, you may be able to understand a bit more about the context of that, that, um, those archaeological remains. And so, why do archaeologists draw? Archaeologists draw to record artifacts, landscapes, contexts, and buildings. We draw to disseminate archaeological information and preserve archaeological interpretations for the archive uh, after the excavation and destruction of the site. But most of all, we really draw to understand archaeology and to show our interpretation of the archaeology.